What's up guys, Jameson Rubik's Guy here. December Community Day, day two. Starting the day off right with an incensed shiny Porygon. Hopefully you didn't miss the sparkles. And three, shiny Porygon down. I mean, we have a bunch of them from a few months ago. The goal today is to stack up on as much Stardust as possible because I recently spent it all. Well, to be more precise, Billy the Trainer Club did. Star piece on. Let's claim our research breakthrough. What a day this would be to get a shiny Lapras. Oh well, to Darumaka. Catch this on a pineapple berry because this candy is like gold. It's just something to say. I don't really care that much about it. Although, Darumaka is a great fire attacker, as Darmanitan, and a great ice attacker in the ice form, Galarian form. Gotcha, Darumaka was caught. Alrighty, how are the IVs on you? Not good, but you're still six candy. Day two cycle has a few different Pokemon that are being spotlighted. I think everything is available both days but each day a specific Pokemon with higher shiny rates. Yesterday, I wanted Piplup and Dot for PvP, trying to get a good shiny one. Today, just number of shinies, Stardust, and maybe a good Charmander for Ultra League. Magmar and Electabuzz were recent, so I don't need too many of those. Let's move my hood back so I can keep the warmth, but you guys can kind of see me better. Incensed a Magikarp. Yeah, that's not the one. This one, yeah. Also, the trainer club. The first Pokemon that he leveled up past 40 for me was this Gyarados. So, I had like 9,000 Magikarp candy and down to 1,800. I could use the stack up on a little bit more. Time for some quick shiny checks. Buy a Christmas pole. Oh well. Incense Porygon? I will check back in with you guys if we get a cool shiny, because I need to quick catch these for the dust. A few things happening this clip, so it's gonna be a long one. Start it off, shiny Magmar. All right, 158, eh, sweet, one-handed excellent throw. That's important, because I have an egg on for an ultra friend in the next little bit here. Traffic noise, gotta love it. How are your IVs, Magmar? Not good. We're also on the last step of the December Community Day research. We will get an elite TM from this one. And some shiny checks. Come on, give me the Charmander. No Charmander. Let's check the Magmar again. No, it's gone. That was probably the incense one. Let me just check the same Pokemon twice. That's smart. No. Oh, first we got an egg hatch. This is going to be a lot of Stardust. But if you didn't know, uh, Mega Pokemon, if you have one active, it will give you an extra candy if you catch something matching its type. So let's throw a 12k at a Super or an Irregular. Check the Electabuzz. And we're going to Mega Ball some. The Trainer Club maxed out my shiny 98 Lucky Pidgeot. We use 29,000 regular Pidgey candy to max this out to level 50. So this is the only Pokemon I have at level 50 and likely will be for a few weeks. Let's Mega Evolve this bad boy because you get five Mega Energy every time you walk a kilometer with Pidgeot. Boom, this is only 20 Mega Energy so it's four kilometers worth. We're gonna get that back today. Mega Pidgeot, I love it, 4,149 CP. Ah, Porygon is an example, so thank you Porygon. We'll show you here, casual one hand great throw. And just like that, we should get four candy for this. There's the mega bonus. Also, the reason I haven't left this spot, despite all the noise, is there is a Sierra here I wanna battle. So let's head back. I wanna make a Pidgeot active so we can battle with it. Get the battle heart and show you guys how bomb this Pokemon is. It's not really super effective in this case, but we have double move and we use the fast Elite TM to get Gust, which is doing quite a bit of damage, but we'll switch out to uh, Giratina and we'll finish off with Mega Pidgeot later because we need to burn those shields and uh, yeah, we're super effective. When you battle Team Rocket or the team leaders, they will pause for three seconds whenever either of you faint or use the charged attack. So you can use that to get some extra fast moves in. What I'll do a lot is I'll do like two quick attacks, like right here, one, two, it still hasn't started attacking, throw another charge move. I don't know why I'm doing Shadow Ball because he still has a shield. <laughs> but as soon as we can switch over to the Sharpedo, Lucario to battle the Sharpedo, I might want to do that. Yep, you're gonna take me down quick. Come on, get the Shadow Ball off. Oh, and we've got a crosswalk. Oops, I'm missing the, <laughs> and I'm missing the bubbles. Pokemon Go trainer etiquette right here. Wow, we actually beat it. All right. We're gonna let you take us out and we're gonna go, well, never mind, we'll just burn my switch clock. Brave bird. Oh, this is gonna destroy. You guys get to see how cool 
Mega Pidgeot is with all the traffic noise. Boom. Anyway, I think it was worth the 29,000 candy, but it really will be if we get a shiny shadow drowsy right now. It's a 12 kilometer egg. But Jameson, you just had nine eggs in your inventory. Why'd you get a 10th? That's true. You can now hold up to 12 eggs. I think they're still rolling it out. Shiny check. Uh, but the eggs that you can hold past nine are only Adventure Sync eggs from your weekly rewards and 12 kilometer eggs from Go Rocket Leaders. So they've got two different ways they're doing it. They're either just going beyond the nine number. And so it looks like just normal 12, like the situation I have right here. Boom. And also on some people, they'll have a separate section below that says bonus storage. We'll check these three Pokemon and then there's only two. <laughs> And we'll get back to walking with Mega Pidgeot because we need the Mega Energy and we need more shinies. The event's closing out in an hour. Two hours. But first, Magikarp. Nah. And everything's white because it's snowing in game. That'd be quite interesting to see snow come down in real life here. It is due to. Can I balance my phone? Nope, that'll be a bad idea. I keep forgetting how freaking noisy downtown is. Pandemic be damned, right? Just everybody's out. I mean, I am too, so can't really hold people up to the fire on that. Trash IVs. Charmander, I want it, I want it. Oh well. Yeah, look at the snow, that's pretty sweet. Carp. And another Magmar. Nope. Oh, Stardust total, 420,000. We were at 42 just a couple days ago, so we're making progress. Trying to hit a million in the next few days. <laughs> Guys, we got it. Shiny Charmander, finally. I mean, I have like 20 of them, but still. Ah, bad throw, didn't bother burying it. Ultra Ball should be fine. It's only 139. I used to be the guy that would Golden Raz, Ultra Ball, every single shiny, even a 10 CP shiny Caterpie, but I've come to realize the time isn't worth it. And those IVs aren't either. But can we go back to back with Carp? Nada. Also, we completed stage four of December Community Day research and we grabbed ourselves that Elite TM. Of course, I forgot to film it, but current Elite TM count, two fasts, five charges. And I still haven't bought the Community Day box, which has one of each. Don't have the coins to buy it now, or I would have immediately. And I also don't really feel like spending 100 bucks on Pogo right now. Christmas is coming up, probably gonna get some. Realistically, I'm not using charge CMs that fast, so I'll, I'll, save, I'll save the coins for now. If I had them, definitely. We've got a few shiny checks here, including a Piplup. Well, he's in his natural environment in the ice cold, I guess, because he's a penguin, right? And if you guys recognize this spot, Billy was leaning right here, talking about Kiram and level 43, 42. Yeah, I'm cool now, right? Okay, Piplup goes down. And I sat right there during one of the community days recently to do a recap. Now I'm gonna Captain Morgan it. Gotcha, Piplup was caught. Bad lighting achieved. How are your stats? Nada. But we have 63 Piplup XL candy, which is super dope. Amber will check the Magmar and then we'll wrap it up. Magmar's gone, Magikarp instead. See you next clip. Well guys, watch out for seizures. There are four Porygon here. If you don't know the history of Porygon, in the anime, there was an episode called Electric Soldier Porygon that never got an English release because in Japan, a whole bunch of flashing lights when Pikachu Thunderbolt did something and they were riding on a giant Porygon in the computer somehow and yeah, flash, 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 a bunch of people went to the hospital in real life. That was a good excellent. That's about 4,500 experience, but no shinies. Just for the record, there's the shiny. Can I re-tap it? Oh God, did I just, I think I just lost that shiny. Let's go back. <laughs> Come on, where is it? That's why it's a good idea to always film it, even if you're gonna run away from it. There we go. Shiny Magmar. That eh, almost lost that bag. <laughs> Golden Raspberry, number 442. Bad throw, number yes, sorry, me, you. And, nope. Oh well, 15 attack. Well, guys, another shiny. I'm just getting lots of Magmars and and Porygon. Straight throw. Ah. Throw up. Wait, don't run for me. Oh, good. Whew. Bonk. I'm walking backwards for the light. Also, I want to drop some incense because if I activate them now, they're three hours each and I can keep farming afterwards. So let's do that after I check the stats here. Decently st statted Porygon. 
incense, boom. Four hours, realistically that's enough. I, I drop them all if I had the balls, the poker balls, to just have the gotcha run, but yeah. We're gonna do some shiny checking here because we've got quite the cluster. No Electabuzz, no Porygon. I would like another Charmander. There's three of them. Can we make one happen, please? Two, oh, I tapped the same one. <laughs> I used to play piano growing up and my dexterity is crap today. No Charmander, last check will be this Magmar. Time to catch them all. Cause you gotta, gotta catch them all. Shiny Magmar again. Also, caught a cool Porygon I'll show you in a sec. Actually, cool Porygon is a promo card from like my childhood. Let's check the IVs on this. Star piece is running out, not gonna put another one down. The Porygon I was talking about is this bad boy. Error 404, Porygon not found. You know what that means? Gotta transfer it. Bye-bye. One more shiny Porygon for Professor Willow to turn into programming code. Not gonna transfer it, probably gonna evolve it eventually, but it's a shiny, I gotta show you guys. And captured, bad throw, but still. Green circle, it's easy. Stats are bad. I didn't expect the lighting to be this good. A few more shiny checks. Carp, I don't know if carp is boosted today, but it'd be nice to get another shiny one. Hey, hey, shiny carp. I hope. No. Oh well, that'd be cool. Fully commit to the call out and actually get it right. That never happens like this shiny here. Ah. You ever have those moments when you tap a Pokemon and you're like, this is shiny and you're sure of it. And then it happens and you're like, wow, like that one. That's, I was not sure of that. But it's hard to tell because there's plenty of times that you wouldn't have said anything and you realize, oh yeah, I was pretty sure of that last one being a shiny and it wasn't. Bad throw, but hopefully bad throws catch lizards. Let's check the stats on this Char Char. Ooh, an XL candy. I appreciate that. One of these days I'm gonna catch a wild Shundo and it's gonna be awesome. Only have three Shundos right now, which is still amazing, considering how freaking rare Shundos are, but let's take a look at them. Four star and shiny. We have a perfect shiny Tyranitar, perfect shiny Electivire, perfect shiny Raikou. In reverse order is how I got them. They're all maxed. I'm gonna double move the Raikou one day when I have excess of rare candy, which I don't have right now, but for now, more shiny checks, more dust. Let's get it. Ask and you shall receive. 10 steps later. Shiny carp, bonk. I do not like how it's lower on the screen now. In the middle, it was a lot easier to hit on. To throw balls on, I'm not trying to hook up with a Magikarp. I'm not that desperate. Magikarp down, let's check the stats. It's bad, but what about another one? Nah. So we've got a problem, guys. The gotcha targeted this right as I was tapping it. So if this berry doesn't work, I might have lost it. All right, let's throw a ball at it just because it's gonna run for a shake. I lost a weather boosted shiny ghastly yesterday like this. Let's hope the Go Plus gotcha hit a 1700. Magmar did not. See ya, Magmar. It was good knowing ya. Can a shiny Charmander dry my tears? It's the preferred fire type anyway. Loud noises! Luckily, we have a 12K hatching right now because I can put another one in before the event ends. Still don't have a sand dial, that'd be a cool addition, or dino. Bullaby, I mean, it's new-ish. Uh, 3XL candy. Drop another 12K in a regular for six kilometers and triple buzz. Not shiny. Bonus. No. Yeah, that's it. Pidgeot's been racking up the kilometers. We are now at 270 Mega Pidgeot energy. We're above where we started. We still have six and a half hours in the Mega Evolution. Just a little bit later, we have ourselves a Shiny Porygon. Wow, so excited. Such new, much sparkles. And with these subpar stats, it's completing three quests for us. So let's claim, claim, claim. Balls, berries, balls. Get a Shiny Magikarp on the next click. That's all Pokemon Go YouTubers do, right? They just call shinies ahead of time, whether or not it happens. And they say, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Mega Charizard goes down. Haven't done one of these in a hot minute. Are the shiny rates boosted because of Community Day? Well, they might be, but that's not a shiny. Unfortunately. Oh yeah. Gonna do some evolutions. Been doing loops because I walked around for three hours power walking. My footsies are tired, Zs. How are your IVs, Zs? 
gonna burp again? Uh, not good. Oh well, we'll transfer that out. But that was 70 mega energy. That's nice. Take a look at our final shiny count here. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 31 shinies. Yeah, 31 shinies on community day over the two days. And I only played probably about half of the time. Super intense. We're gonna evolve most of these because I want those special moves. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed your December community day. Shiny Celebi is released tomorrow. Monday, the 12th. The 14th. <laughs> Jameson, Rubik's Guy out.